answer is no. I'm only asking to borrow your cash and carry card. You don't know the first thing about retail. Oh, here we go. Look, there's a lot of money to be made out of Christmas hampers. There is, if you know what you're doing. Oh, well, it's hardly rocket science, is it? No, but it does put you in a position of trust. And? And I happen to have a reputation round here. Oh, I get it. You think I'm going to do a runner with a spondulix? Well, you do have a criminal record for fraud. I take it your prospective customers are unaware of that. Oh, just forget I even asked. Stephanie, a word of advice. This isn't London. We're a very tight-knit community up here. People tend to look out for one another. Really? Well, you could have fooled me. Well, I thought it was about time I took the thumb screws off. Poor cow feels guilty enough without me banging on. <laughs> oh, she could have seen it though, Bernice. <laughs> I am not having you on. I'm telling you, she had him right there outside the club in the back of the limo. Still, I suppose worse things have happened on a hen night. And let's face it, love, that limo driver was gorgeous. Only me. Somebody make us a cup of tea, will you? I'm knackered. I'll fix that window. Oh, thanks. How much do I owe you? Nothing. Just buy us a drink. Still can't figure out who did it. Told you, it'd be kids. It's gotta be. Well, I'm working again tonight with the delightful DC Collins. I swear if he tells me another sexist joke, I'm gonna scream. About time you do a night off, isn't it? Yeah, tell me about it. Don't mean you can't go out, though. Why don't you go out with him? What are you doing tonight? I don't know, I thought I might go clubbing or something. You don't mind if Sid tags along with you, do you? Uh, no. Look, I'm not bothered. No, no, you you come along. You never know, it might be a laugh. There you go, then. Sorted. What, and you don't mind? Of course don't. As long as you behave yourself. So, what's it like working and living here? Oh, but I'm not complaining. Yeah, well, you look out for yourself. What do you mean? Chris, he's a slave driver. I mean, when I were here, I was on call 24 hours a day. Why do you think I moved out? Yeah, well, I'm just grateful to have a roof over my head. <laughs> Terry, what's funny about that? <laughs> oh, no, I'm just... I'm just thinking of you throw that drink over, eh? Uh, brilliant. I wish I'd done it to the smarmy git. Terry, I thought you were washing my car. <sighs> on me way. Oh, Terry, we will meet the Leeds. Well, I would, but... What do you want to go into Leeds for? Well, what do you think? A bit of light shopping. I drive myself only I can never park. So what, have I got myself a lift, then? Yeah, they're all right. Just don't keep them all day. And Charity, watch the money. Oh, you skimpling. Give me a minute. Cynthia, would you wash my car? Yeah, sure. That would be three pound ninety five. Thanks. So, how's things? Yeah, fine, thanks. Any morning sickness? Nope. Oh, you ought to think yourself lucky. I was laid up for weeks. So what are you thinking of? Boy? Girl? Do you know I haven't given it much thought? Could I just have my change, please? Anyway, you're looking very well. Considering. Weird one, that. Uh, sorry? Her being pregnant. You do know she's a lesbian, don't you? And a schizo. Actually, come to think of it, her kid's got no chance. So what can I do for you? It's more like what I can do for you. I've got a proposition for you. Oh, yeah. It can't fail. Ampers. Christmas ampers, what do you think? Oh, come on, use your imagination. I've got these baskets, see? Now, I was going to do it myself, and then I thought, Vivian! Because you've got the customer base. Well, of course I have. I own the village shop. Precisely. You sure you heard right? Of course I did. I can't get out of me who it was. Well, who was there? Uh, me, Viv, Trisha, Betty. Ah, uh, you see, well, there you go. It's Betty, innit? it got to be. <laughs> Don't be tired. She's not the type to have sex in the back of a limo. Who's <laughs> that sex in the back of a limo? Someone on the uh, hen night, apparently. You're joking. We're not. How do you know? Well, what are you two whispering about? You'll never guess what happened on the head. Oh, oh what the hell's happened? No, Paul! Oh, no, 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 no,
What are you on about? I'm not supposed to know, am I? Come again. Promise you won't say you heard it from me. I promise. Hey, any danger of a cup of tea? I'm gasping. Yeah, well, you just have to give me a minute. I'm behind as it is. You know, if I never see Leeds again, it'll be too soon. Oh, so good coffee, Uncle. Yeah, just give us a minute. Who's those? The Chloe's. Well, since when has my home become a dumping ground? Oh, chill out, will you, Chris? Hey, like my new coat. Gorgeous, isn't it? I hope it's not real. Well, it should be. The price I pay for it. I don't let Zoe see you wear it. Listen, the fur's all the go again. All the top models are wearing it. Of course, it's not real. Oh, you're back early. Yeah, well, I, I was going to cook a meal. I have a friend coming round. That's good. Well, we'll make ourselves scarce then, eh? Is this fair? No. No. Good imitation, though, isn't it? Listen. You don't mind, do you? Of course I don't mind. I'm pleased you're getting on with things. Yeah, and it means Grumpy here can take me out. Right, I'll take this through. <laughs> Hiya. Hello. You're early. I know, I normally get lost, but today I didn't. <laughs> there we are. Thanks a lot. Someone slept with the limo driver. So it wasn't you, then? No, it wasn't me. I'm going out with Ray, aren't I? So? Oh, my God, you don't think it... No. No, I can't say it. Who? No, it can't be. Come on, who? Trisha. Trisha? No way. They did call the wedding off. Actually, the more you think about it, it makes sense. No, it doesn't make sense. I was with her all night, wasn't her? I know. Let's ask the horse's mouth. Diane! Over here! What, what you gonna do that for? Look, she didn't know you heard her on the phone, does she? I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. Just keep smiling. You, my girl, have got a voice like a cheese grater. You're never going to believe this. Well, come on, then. Fill me in. Is this ladies only or can anyone join in? This is going to kill you, this is. Get on with it. Someone only went and slept with the limo driver on their night. I don't know you girls when you get together. Mm -hmm. So, come on, then. Who is the lucky lady? Well, do you know something, Bob? That's the mystery bit we don't know. Who do you think it was, Diane? Any thoughts? Pass. I thought I'd bring this one round to show you. You know, see what you think. Good idea. Drink. <sighs> oh, hold on. Ta da! Oh, I think you and me are going to get on. I know so, darling. We didn't get this from the cash and carry, did we? Uh, no, I picked that up when I was in Leeds. I was going to say, I get these from a luxury wholesaler oh, in Harrogate. Really? Yeah, they're well pricey. How much do you pay for it? Oh, there you go. Do you know, I can't remember to tell you the truth. Well, I get them for under four pounds. Anyway, we'll be using my supply from now on. No point in throwing money away. Oh, ooh. Perfect. Nice to do business with you. Likewise. Look, look let's just work this out. Look, who is there? Trisha, Gloria, Cynthia. Oh, yeah, it could be Cynthia. And, um, my buckles. What about Gloria? Hmm, definite maybe. She's a game old bird, isn't she? Oh, who cares who it was? Exactly. Yeah, I think we should just drop it. So do I. Bob, in case you haven't noticed, there are customers need serving. Why on earth did she invite that Mel round? Chris, you're such a snob. They've got nothing in common. Yeah, they have. They're both mad. <laughs> Enjoying your meal? We were. You do know that's yours, don't you? What? The fish. It's poached. No, it's not. It's pan fried. Perhaps you should ask the chef where he gets his fish from. Uh, now, listen, don't you go jump into conclusions, all right? Pint when you've got a minute, Diane. What are you doing here? Just passing. 
How's the toy boy? None of your business. You all right, Angie? Fine. Well, you're not going to introduce us? I don't know who he is. He's just asked for the time. You got a name, Sonny? Yeah, I might have. Well, give it. Kane Dingle. Uh, it's told down the station. Wouldn't be long before I bumped into you. <laughs> really? What you knew round here, then? Ask the questions, kid. No buzz off. Evening all. Are you accusing my chef of serving up poached fish? Uh, no! Where did he hear this, anyway? Idle gossip. Yeah, well, I could have you done for slander. Look, let's just forget about it. No, we shan't. I know what the dingles are like. Oi! You're on very shaky ground, so I'd quit while you're ready if I were you. Is there a problem? Yeah, too right, there's a problem. What's all this about poaching? Oh, yeah, well, I was going to mention that. Really? I'll see you later, yeah? Yeah, see you. A tete -a tete with your surrogate stepson. Oh, leave it out. She must be right in mean machine beneath those bed sheets. Get stuffed. Mm -hmm. I guess you've given these up then. Yeah. I still can't believe that you're pregnant. Well, how do you think I feel? I mean, the whole village has considered me weird for years, but this. This being pregnant, well, let's just say it slightly confused them. I don't follow. Well, because of what I am. What, a schizophrenic? No, no. A lesbian. You're joking! You don't look like a lesbian. Uh, and what's a lesbian supposed to look like? God, I'm sorry. That must have sounded so rude. It's just that I never... I never suspected, that's all. Does it matter? No, oh, does Ella's like? I'm telling you, Zoe, the look out of our men have considered turning several times. Oh. <laughs> it's so good to see you. And you've no idea who the father is? Well, it happened when I was ill. What a reminder, eh? You doing all the antenatal stuff? Well. You've got to. It's important. Why? I've no idea. But they say that it's important. Don't you have to, like, learn a song or something? A song? Yeah, to take your mind off it. Do you know when you're in labour? Well, a mate of mine, she once sang, I'm just a girl who can't say no. <laughs> Listen, next time you've got an appointment, I'll come with you if you want. Well, he was adamant he was going out. I was equally adamant he was staying in, you know what I mean? Anyway, we rowed, which I thought was pretty pointless. So, I go upstairs with a pair of scissors. I open the wardrobe up. I cut one arm off all his shirts. I cut one leg off all his strides, right? So he comes upstairs, did he? See what I'm up to, and I says to him, So, love, still thinking of going out, you are you? didn't. You? <laughs> I don't know what happened. But well, what do you think happened? He stayed in. And we got divorced. Well, he had no sense of humour. That was his trouble. Now, your Bob is fabulous. The best. I'm not so sure about the Tash, though. But he's funny, you know what I mean? And I always say, if a bloke can make you laugh, he can make you do almost anything. I think us girls are all the same, aren't we? Yeah, he's a diamond. Mm. Most my blokes <coughs> have had a bit of form, you know. You're not shocked by that, are you? No, of course not. We've all been there. I blame it on watching too much of On the Waterfront when I was a kid. That Marlon Brando, oh, knocked me over, he did. I'd have been a good girl if it hadn't been for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you got a diamond, girl. You want to hang on to him? Hmm. You hungry? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Me too. You sit there, doll. I'm going to cook us some chips on your new chip fryer, courtesy of moi. Don't go away. Oh.
So, you're divorced then? Yep. Better join the club. Goes with the territory. Does it? Well, when did you last meet a happily married copper? <laughs> yeah, point taken. I prefer being on my own. It's simpler. I do miss the home cooked meals though. The first Mrs. Collins was a hell of a cook. We've put on a fair bit since the split. Mind you, the ladies don't seem to mind. So, uh, so what do you do on your nights off? The don't tell us. You're a lap dancer. Oh, you know, less than that. Oh, play your cards right, I may take you out. Oh, I shouldn't be so lucky. What are you doing on Friday? And don't say you're working, because I've already checked. Um, I don't know, girls not out, I think. Oh, aye, you going clubbing? No, no, just bottle of wine, girly night, you know. Well, that's Friday, how about Saturday? I don't know, I think I'm doing something. You wouldn't be giving me the runaround by any chance, would you? No, I'm just busy, that's all. Perhaps another night, yeah? You're on. I can hardly wait. Can I have your glasses, please? You wouldn't have any more work going at the church, would you? Where do you ask? It's for Mike. Well, he's a good bloke. I just feel I owe him, you know. No, sorry, I've got a full crew. Can't help you. Right, well, thanks anyway. I might have some other work, though. Yeah? Yeah, down to the house. Do you think you'd be interested? Oh, he's desperate. Well, I'll have a word with him. Yes. Will you just drop this hen night discussion, cos you're getting on my wick? Well, I think it's disgusting. It would never have happened in my day. Well, that's cos they didn't have limos in your day. No, but we did have standards. Enough's enough, all right? Anyway, you never said who you heard it from. I'm not a bit telling. It's an unknown source, apparently. Really? Could I have a word, please? Yeah. You haven't said anything about Viv, have you? No, why? Because the news is out, apparently. You're joking. How's Bob Tetnick? Well, when I say out, I mean it's out about somebody sleeping with the limo driver. The culprit, <sighs> or should I say the lucky woman, is still unknown. I've just had a random thought. It wasn't you, was it? Time, gentlemen, please! And then one thing led to another, and before we knew it, we were, uh, you know... In the limo? Yeah, on the back seat. I was drunk. Oh, You're having me on. I wish I was. I must have been mad! Then again, he was under 30 and as fit as a butcher's dog. You don't have to tell me, darling. I saw him. <sighs> what was he like? Well, like I said, he was under 30. <laughs> Quick, as I remember. Shame. Oh, how could I have been so stupid if Bob ever finds out that's it? Oh, where's he going to find out? Because of big gob Diane Blackstock. She knows. She caught us at it. Silly cow. Oh. Mind, you don't want to worry about the Duchess. I mean, she likes Bob. Why should she tell him? Oh, that's what she keeps saying to me, but she not have put me through me paces, miserable bag. What's that smell? What smell? It's them chips. It can't be. That chip pan's got a safety mechanism. Sure. Oh, my God! We're on fire! No, it's out already, darling. Well, what happened? Chip pen. <coughs> what the hell are you doing cooking chips at this time of night? It's past 11, for God's sake. Well, ask her. <coughs> uh. <laughs> 
isn't anyone listening to me. It was not an accident. It was her with her dodgy merchandise. I should be careful what you say if I were you. Ladies, ladies, this is no time to be falling out. Oh, my beautiful cafe is ruined. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Here, remind me never to be anywhere near her in a real crisis, will you? All he needs is a lick of paint. Oh, no, no, no. It'll take more than a lick of paint, I'm afraid. Same thing happened to a mate of mine, you know, chip pan fire. It took him weeks to scrape the grease off the ceiling. Yeah, and it'll probably stink and all. I'm going to lose money, aren't I? Look, listen, let, let, let's think about this tomorrow, eh? I'm going to sue you. Do what? Sue me? You're having a laugh, aren't you? Why can't you get it into your thick head that it was an accident, you silly cow? Well, you tell that to your solicitor. This was a thriving business this morning. Fry probably fell off the back of a lorry anyway. Oh, be careful, Vivian. Look, she, she doesn't mean it. It's just a bit upset, that's I all. do mean it. And it's in case you hadn't noticed, this is my home. Oh, and a right little happy family you were and all, weren't you? Does Bob know just how happy you are at the moment? Want me to tell him, do you? Cos I will, sweetheart. You just keep pushing me. What are you talking about? Ask her. So I should wind your neck in and calm down. I'll see you in the morning. Good night, Bob. Good night. What is all that about? Don't ask me. <laughs> Strippy cow's barking. Uh, we better uh, go on and leave you on your own, eh? Right. Bye. Oh, come on. Everything's gonna be all right, I promise. Hey, after all, you've still got me, haven't you? Yes. Mm.